All right, back with another video. Just wanted to do this because this Brian Dellinger cult is really just getting out of control, and they're just ridiculous. I mean, let's just face reality there. They're just a bunch of of wicked devils who just don't like it when somebody speaks against their leader. And for a while, you know, I was trying to just go my own way because, you know, about a year ago, it was September 27th of 2020 that they basically stabbed me in the back because I, I dared to commit the unpardonable sin of questioning Brian Dellinger. So apparently, I guess, since I questioned Brian Dillinger, one of their members, I guess, went to heaven and, you know, got their holy eraser out and, you know, got some whiteout or whatever, some holy whiteout and rubbed my name out of the book of life. Because, after all, how dare I speak against Pope Brian Dillinger? But for a while, I was just trying to go my own way, to do my own thing, and just, you know, whatever. They want to be, they want to act like a bunch of Catholic cult members, then go right ahead. But no. You know, they are, they, you know, they'll say, oh, you're obsessed with Brian Dillinger. No, they're the ones who are obsessed with people who, who speak against Brian Dillinger. Because, again, I'm trying to go my own way and just trying to do my own thing. But in the comments, they bring me up again. I mean, seriously, this Phil Randon guy, you know, I, I've had dealings with him for a long time. Now, he's a wicked devil. He's just a respecter of persons towards Brian. And he just can't stand it when somebody speaks against Brian Dillinger. You see, this is how cults act, okay? They don't like it when someone speaks against their leader. They don't like it when somebody speaks against the Pope. Because the number one rule that all cults have is if you speak against the number one guy, you're not saved. And this Phil Randon guy, pretty much his only ground for calling me a wicked devil is because I spoke against Brian Dillinger. Pretty much. So, I mean, as if the unpardonable sin, the, unforg the unforgivable sin is speaking against Brian Dillinger. But like I said, I was just trying to go my own way, just trying to do my own thing, just leave them to their own wicked desires. But no, they have to just bring me up again. Seriously. But I'm going to read this comment. Actually, I'm going to show the comment, which I probably already have on the screen right now, where they say, he says, there are devils like John Cragon. Doesn't even spell my name right. That's the best part. Frank, the guy in Blackpool, Kim, Robert Breaker, Edward, TBN Preachers, John MacArthur, etc. Most of those guys are people who just speak against Brian Dillinger and rebuke him and expose him. So they can't help but just bring me up and bring them up because we speak against his leader and the devils inside of him don't like that. That's the real, that's a real issue right there. So that's why, despite all my efforts just to go my own way, nope, he just brings me up again. Why? Because they're obsessed with the people who speak against their Pope. But gonna read some scripture because supposedly I'm a wicked devil. Like really, I'm a wicked devil. But let's examine Brian's fruits and see who the wicked devil is. I mean, there's no fruits that come from Brian's ministry. <laughs> let's just face reality. There is no fruits at all. Lust of the flesh. Oh yeah, absolutely. It's all over the place. Believe me. Just watch any of their videos. The people who just emulate Brian. I mean, literally, it's actually to the point where these people are drunk, are are buying red lumberjack uh, shirts and and growing beards and all this other stuff to look like clones of Brian Dillinger. That's literally to the point. These people actually follow Brian Dillinger to the point where they start looking like Brian Dillinger. I mean, if that doesn't just scream, like, that's, if that doesn't just scream creepy to you, I don't know what does. Like, seriously, these guys actually are looking like Brian Dillinger now. They're actually, like, they're becoming, like, clones of Brian Dillinger. But let's look at some of Brian Dillinger's fruit. Let's, let's go to the scriptures, something this wicked devil here, Phil Randon, won't ever do. Because he's a respecter of persons. And I called him out on it. He's like, oh, no, a respecter of persons. Yeah, you are, buddy. And most, most of Brian's followers are guilty of the same thing. But what do I expect when these people literally dress and act like Brian Dillinger and grow beards and, and buy red lumberjack shirts and, and all this other stuff? You know, it's a personality cult. Don't don't kid me, buddy. It's a personality cult. And I was I was followers or I was a follower of Brian's so-called ministry for years. Okay, the guy is all about money. Let's just face reality. I mean, three different off-grid properties: a, a tank, military vehicles, all these different like all these different accessories, all these different cars, all all at the expense of of these followers' donations too. By the way, all all on their dime. Let's just add that as a fun little side fact. You know, any wonders why people say he's all about money. Um, and, and, he, and, he, and here's the best part. Here's, here's the best part of all this. I mean, this is just going to make, this is just ridiculous. He loves to act like he doesn't have lots of money and that he's poor. Um, have you seen the size of his so-called ministry office? It's bigger than, it's bigger than both my cottages combined. And I got pretty decent sized cottages. But then he somehow acts like he doesn't have lots of money. You know, I've never seen a poor man like, ever. Because I used to do help at a homeless shelter. I used to help and serve food there. I've never once seen a poor man that could afford three, dif three different off-grid properties. There are like all these, all these different p pieces of land, a tank, military vehicles, all this other stuff. Seriously, he's lying when he says he he's, doesn't have lots of money. I believe he's filthy rich, quite frankly. 
how do you afford three different properties all these military vehicles all this other stuff if you're not if you're not like if you're somehow dirt poor and below the poverty level he's a liar quite frankly and, and i'm glad when i followed him i never sent him any of my money because you see unlike him and unlike most of the followers i actually work for a living i have a job i actually do stuff i don't just sit around and beg for money all day long but let's look at some of Brian's fruits, okay? Because these wicked devils love to use Matthew chapter 5 on critics of Brian Dillinger. Well, how about we use that right back at them? You see, these people, they'll point out everybody else's wickedness all day long. They'll point out everybody else's sin. But the moment you call out their wickedness and the moment you point out their sin, they don't quite like that. They'll make excuses all the time. But let's examine some of Brian's fruit. Let's go to Proverbs chapter 6, verses 16 to 19. These six things doth the Lord hate, yea, seven are an abomination unto him. A proud look. Well, that serves Brian. That, that describes Brian Dillinger right there. He's proud. He's high-minded. He won't. You know, he loves throwing his elder status in people's faces. You know, go watch his video game sermon. He's constantly the, the video why losers play video games. Constantly throwing his elder status in people's faces to basically get them to listen to him and just respect him. When someone does that, they got a lot of pride. A lying tongue. Okay. You look at Brian's video when Tim, brother Tim Condon, lovingly tried to crack Brian Dillinger, Brian came out and outright lied about him numerous times, and willfully too. Brian Dillinger's got a lying tongue, and, and many of his followers are just wicked. In hands that shed innocent blood. Well, given the fact that Brian Dillinger's a lost man, he's shedding innocent blood because he's taking souls to hell with him. A heart that deviseth wicked imaginations. You know, Brian comes up with all these different false doctrines that, that lead younger brethren astray, and then younger brethren end up taking the beating and the brunt of it. And Brian Dillinger might just, uh, like have a little apology, but never actually like a big correction of what he said. And by, by the way, heart devised the wicked imagination. He comes up with these wicked false doctrines in his heart. Feet that be swift to running in running to mischief. He's constantly misrepresenting what his what people who criticize him say. He's constantly lying and twisting their words and putting words in their mouth, as do many of his followers. A false witness that speaketh lies. Again, Brian Dillinger has no shame in just lying about what people say about him. And he that soweth discord among brethren. When I was part of Brian Dillinger's cult, there was all this, this strife and contention, contention, all this discord, all this, this uh, fighting and constant infighting because of something Brian might have brought out, some doctrine he might have brought out. Okay, so by the standards of scripture, God hates Brian Dillinger's so-called cult. Because every single thing mentioned here in Proverbs chapter 6, verse 16 to 19, Brian Dillinger is guilty of violating. He's guilty of doing. Okay, so when we examine Brian's fruit, uh, he's got his fruit stinks. I'll put it that way. His fruit is rotten. His fruit belongs in the trash can. Okay, he doesn't have any fruits of the spirit. He's got lust of the flesh. That's all that it is. So anyway, mark and avoid Brian Dillinger like the plague. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren, the truly saved brethren out there, goodbye.